Okay, I wanted to uh, zoom in on the needles and show you how they work. Uh, when they when they come around and they start, they've got a previous loop on them already, and you'll notice the position of them is such that it's holding the latch open. So the loop is just below the latch pivot, but not far enough down below the bottom of the latch. And when they come around, what you'll see is they'll start to rise here, and that's from a cam called the upthrow cam. And what, what's happening is your weights, your sock weight, is keeping that loop tight against the cylinder top while your cam lifts that needle. And is, what it's trying to do is to get that raised high enough so that latch is free of that old loop. Then what's going to happen is you'll start to see these come down, and that's from the tension cam or V-cam on there. And and I've moved it out of the way. I moved the yarn carrier, the guide, out of the way. But normally you would see the new yarn right here, so it's going to get captured. And that's what this guy is here. So the, the tension can will start moving this, these needles down. And what you'll see is when it moves it through that old loop, it's going to close that latch, that previous loop, you can see it right here, is hit, is come up underneath the latch and it's closed it. And what's happened is it's caught that new yarn inside. It continues to move down. And then what it does is it's going to keep pulling that new yarn, since it's encapsulated, through the old loop. And it keeps pulling it down, keeps pulling it down. Move over to the other side. And what you'll see here is over here, it's pulled it all the way through and it's pulled it down. And, and you can adjust your tension cam on how far this actually moves down. Uh, if you want a tight stitch or a loose stitch, it's going to depend on how far you, you bring that down. Then once the, once the tension cam is done, these guys will start moving back up slowly and then all you'll have is that new loop on there.